slide, you can see you know, two of our open source uh, Potentio stats, the Rodeo stat in the center, and then the Rodeo stat feather wing over on the left-hand side. Um, the Rodeo stat feather wing is sort of a small, very, very small, low cost um, development board style um, uh, Potentio stat, which is designed to accompany, um, it's not really meant to be a standalone system, it's designed to accompany a development board and is used for if you want to add a Potentio stat to say an embedded project. Um, and in the center is our, our rodeo stat potential stat. This is um, a complete instrument. It's, it's designed as, as to be completely powered off of USB. You plug it into your computer. Uh, it comes pre-programmed with firmware. Um, it has with which has um, uh, uh, existing uh, voltammetric tests such as chrono amperometry, uh, cyclic voltimetry, um, and you know, all sorts of pulse, different types of pulse tests. Um, and we have a Python library and a web app uh, software for controlling it. Um, and so you might ask, well, what is a potential stat? <laughs> Um, and uh, a potential stat is sort of a, a three electrode electrochemical sensor. Um, and the idea is basically to control the potential between the working and reference electrodes um, using the counter electrode as an actuator. And basically it utilizes feedback to do this. So it's constantly measuring the uh, potential between the working and the reference electrodes and adjusting the counter electrode to keep maintain that at uh, the, desired, the desired value. Um, and it uses feedback to do this. Um, and um, while, while you're doing this, you're simultaneously measuring the, the, the working electrode current. Um, these are, and these are typically not passive instruments. You, you, know, you may, uh, on some occasions, hold the, the voltage between the, the working and, and reference electrodes constant. But in many more cases, you're sort of um, you're, you're varying it according to some desired um, waveform. So you may be sweeping the output uh, through a ramp or cycles or pulses. And the changes in the current that you see Tell you a lot about the electrochemical processes that are occurring on the electrodes. So it allows you to characterize various electrochemical processes, um, such as you know measuring redox potentials or um, uh, studying the reversibility of reactions. Um, you can also study coatings or corrosion, and there and a big application of these is in biosensor development. So, um, and, and as an example of uh, what a biosensor might be, you might think of something like the glucose test strip, um, and um, so. Uh, these are, you've probably all seen these, these are uh, sort of commercially available um, uh, for monitoring blood sugar. Um, and these test strips um, on the working electrode, they contain an enzyme, so glucose oxidase, and a, an electron transfer mediator. And this allows them to work as sort of a glucose sensor. So if you connect the um, test strip to, to your potentiostat via the working uh, counter uh, and reference electrode connections, um, and, and then you, um, when, when it's plugged in and you put your sample on the end of it and you step the voltage from say zero to 500 millivolts, you'll get a particular time course of current measured at the working electrode. And that, that, that time course will depend on the, the glucose concentration in the sample. And if you then collect the currents at a particular time point, right, and you plot them as a function of the uh, glucose concentration, you see a really nice co tight correlation between uh, the glucose uh, concentration and the current. And this is sort of how these test strips work as a sensor um, and um, I should point out that this is a particular type of glucose test strip. It's an amperometric uh, test strip. There are other types, such as uh, um, colometric um, test strips, which work a little bit differently, in which case there you might use the integration of this current signal as opposed to uh, just a sampling at a particular time point after the, after the pulse. Um, and we're also not suggesting that you replace your glucose blood monitor with a rhodiostat. However, these test strips provide a really nice um, introduction into how these uh, biosensors work and how you might uh, use a rodeo stat to sort of develop them and work on them.